Are you missing some textures in your scene? Are you working on a project made by your friend that he's given to you? And all the textures are not calling from the right place? Or maybe you just simply don't have a project set. So the textures you're calling from are not in the right place. Well, whatever the case may be, there's an easy way to fix it. And that's by using the file path editor. So to access the file path editor, go to Windows, General Editor, and there you have your file path editor. So we covered the namespace editor a while ago. If you haven't watched that video, you can go and check that out also. So let's click on file path editor. So when you open it up, you'll see that you have six unresolved and zero resolved. Now these are the files that are missing. So you see the cross button right here. If you have your files all set, this cross will turn into a green tick mark. So you do not have these files. Now there are some options. If you just made a change yourself, you can click on the refresh list and it's gonna refresh and check if any of these issues have been resolved. You can click on repath files. Now this button will tell Maya that the textures you're looking for are not in this directory. They are in some other directory. So you can click on that. Let's go to our FPM folder. So I have my textures on the desktop in this FPM folder. So if I set this folder now, so after giving the new location, you have two options here. Search the subdirectories for the files and repath currently resolved files. So if you already have some files that are resolved and they don't need much attention, you can still repart the same if you have the same texture in other location also. Now with this button, you can search the folders inside this directory and other folders and subfolders in it to search for your texture. So you can preview if it's gonna solve something, no appropriate attribute item has been selected to do repart. So what this is saying is you have not selected what to resolve. So if you just want to resolve one item, you can click one item and then click preview. Now it's telling you the one file path will be newly resolved. So it's just telling you that this file will be given a new path and it's gonna resolve this issue. So if you press continue, now you see this cross up here has turned into an exclamation mark, which is that when you open it up, you have some unresolved issues and one resolved issues. So you have this file set up. So just the same way, if I click on this and click on repath, it's gonna solve all these. But let's click cancel for now. So that's the usage of the repath files. Now, the other major useful function in the file path editor is auto resolve. So when you click on auto resolve, It's going to do all the major work for you. So all you need to do is you can select the base path. Now this base path means where your files are currently located. So let's say for example, you have your files in the D drive and the D drive has all your other work files, entertainment files, personal files. D drive has all of your things that are in your computer. But when you select the base path to D drive, it's going to search all the directories and subdirectories in that D drive and then find these files. You see the names here. Now the Maya is going to try and find these files in the directory you provide. Now after that, you can select all the things you want to resolve. If there's any audio in that directory, any texture, image, IES lights, or the other things. Now the Maya is going to search for all these things in that drive, any that matches this, these names, even if it's an audio or a texture file. For now, we have some texture files here. So let's select the base path to desktop and my FBM folder. Now the base path is the FBM folder where I have all the textures. Now, you can either choose to copy the files 
or just repack them. So when this checkbox is clicked, it's going to ask you for a destination. Let's provide a project folder. Let's say I have this project here in my directory and I'm gonna choose the source images. Now if I press set, now what this auto resolve will do is it's gonna take all the files from the base destination you provide. It's gonna search for everything you have selected that has these names and it's gonna copy all of them to your destination folder. Now you can choose to either copy and repath all the files or you can just copy and repath only the newly resolved ones. So for example, I have this resolved already and it's calling from desktop and idle FBM. Now that's the FBM folder I have my textures on. So if I choose this button, all of these files will be called from the source images folder that I have set here now. But this file will still be called from the desktop idle FBM folder. Now you can choose to overwrite the existing files if you have any. But if now if you uncheck this button, now it'll just repath all the files to this idle FPM folder. So let's click on this checkbox and click on auto resolve. Now all the files here are being called from source images. And because I chose the option to resolve to copy and repack only the newly resolved ones. Now this file is still being called from the desktop idle FPM folder. If I do the same again and click on copy and repath all. Now it's going to call all the textures from the same folder. And if you go and check in your explorer, you'll have all the textures in the source images folder of your project. It doesn't matter where they were in your hard drive. So that's the easiest way you can call your textures if they are somehow missing. I hope this information will be somewhat useful to you guys. This will be it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel CG family. And I'll see you in the next one.